So I just wanted to say, I guess, two things before I start this video. Number one, I messed up my moustache when I was trying to neaten it for this video, but I'm going to make content anyways. Um, and number two, relating to the video, you really need to weigh up in your own personal context whether doing a degree and paying for a degree is going to be worth it and you need to look at what you want to go into if possible i know it's still early if you're young going into a degree career path whether it requires a degree or not and weigh up how much are you paying to do that degree and whether in your situation personal situation personal context is this worth it so you're here for five reasons to do a fine art degree. And uh, here's point number one. If you want to really produce a uh, independent, self-driven practice. Now, in, I guess, contemporary art school, you're gonna spend a lot of your time in an independent space, independent studio space. The university will give you a studio space. Um, and at first, if you don't have experience working independently, this is going to be difficult for you. And by being put in that situation, you're kind of forced or encouraged to build some kind of a structure for your practice. So you will begin to understand how you're gonna begin producing work and how you're gonna structure that. And your university should be supporting you in doing so. I know in some universities students feel less so, which is why I'm, I guess, making a YouTube channel like this to uh, offer my advice, offer my experience. Um, already having done a degree in uh, art, and um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Watch my other videos. <laughs> Point number two: If you want to be allocated in a creative space with possible other like-minded people around you, creative people around you. And this is why I constantly stress the importance of going and visiting and understanding the environment that you're going into. I'm talking studio space. You walk in, you will have an instinctive feeling about the space, whether it's something that's gonna fit you or not. Um, you also need to be aware I think it's important to pay attention to the kind of students that are coming out of the university that you want to go to. So you can either stalk social media. It's not that difficult really to find students who are in a current university, whether it be through hashtags um, or just being a really good stalker on the internet, but also go to the university social media because a lot of universities now tend to post works of students or the studio spaces. And then if someone's work is in that, studio space picture they will tag them if that person has social media so visit the space talk to the students understand the kind of work that's coming out of the place and you'll have a better idea of whether that environment is suited to you point number three uh, this is referring to lectures i guess um, if you want to be uh, exposed to a lot of random different concepts um, i think Contemporary art lacks obviously a theme. So when it comes to lectures and teaching, unless your, your degree is tailored to, I guess, one pathway such as mine was tailored more towards painting because I knew I wanted to be a painter, so I did a painting BA. Um, but fine art, I, I, ex I expect it's gonna be even more random than some of my lectures were. And I know this is kind of maybe a, a, a hit or miss because I know some people are gonna like this and some people are not. So when it came to my lectures, some were great, they were useful for me, presents a, a new idea for me to, I guess, critique compared to my own practice. And then there are others where it's just like, why am I here? This is just such a waste of time. I don't wanna to listen to this person talk about this nonsensical thing that has no relevance <laughs> to me or my practice at all, but, by being in that kind of, I guess, mood while in a lecture, it helps you critique others' ideas. And then you can kind of, in the same way you're critiquing something someone is presenting, you can be like, okay, how do I then critique my own ideas and be critical of my own practice? So I guess you can still see it in a positive way. Point number four, 
uh, workshop spaces. Now this is, I'm talking like printing press, maybe wood workshop for creating stretchers and stuff like this. My favorite place, uh, I went to University of the Arts London. My favorite place was the wood workshop we had in my university. The guy who ran it was an amazing teacher, very chill, he used to play like relaxed ambient music in the background um, to stop people from like cutting off their fingers and like concentrating and staying calm and relaxed while <laughs> using this dangerous equipment. Um, that doesn't sound alarming at all. Uh, but yeah, um, you will have access to lots of, or should have access to lots of uh, machinery and whatnot so that you can really get to know and learn that you wouldn't have access to maybe on a normal everyday in a, in a normal everyday situation uh, so that's that's an advantage point number five if you really have I mean this is gonna sound obviously a lot of people say passion 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 but you know it's it really is important you have to really understand and like and love what you're going into um, being a creative person and taking this kind of pathway where you know a lot of what you're going to be doing is structured by yourself by your own kind of uh, I guess work ethic which is we can all obviously all improve become more efficient become more hardworking but it's hard work um, and I would actually maybe say this about to be honest any pathway that you take whether it be arts or science or whatever um, you need to really like uh, and have an inclination for what you're doing because otherwise you know if you're going with a 50% attitude into a degree you're not going to get much out of it um, because of the fact that so much of it is independent work as well it's dependent on the space your attitude your attitude will literally define how much you get out of it so if you're kind of half and half just going in, you know, three years isn't going to feel like you learn anything. And I do have my opinions and my ups and downs about my own degree. Um, I think that there are some good things about the way things are taught in, a, I guess, uh, current times. But I also think that there's a lot of things that universities are just not doing. Um, which is why I'm making a channel like this to try and provide people with more information and, and maybe some kind of structural guidance that will help them develop themselves more um, as independent artists or creatives or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, but bottom line, it takes hard work. But if you love what you're doing, it's not going to feel so much like hard work. You're not going to not want to do it, if that makes sense. Um, so stay positive, stay hardworking. I hope that my advice or my tips have helped clarify a little bit of uh, what you might be thinking before going into a degree. Uh, please check out my other videos. I have lots of other informative videos on these kinds of subjects. I did a five top reasons not to do an art degree as well. So if you kind of uh, come within those reasons you might want to maybe think twice so maybe check out that video as well and um, yeah you can uh, message me on social media ask me questions below uh, while I still have a manageable audience which is actually slowly growing which I'm really happy about but uh, I'm getting messages on Instagram really meaningful good questions as well uh, but post comments below all of the comments and messages I get all influences what I make so uh, thank you for watching thank you for your support and uh, I hope this video was useful don't forget to like if it has been a little bit useful to you and uh, please subscribe for more artistic content and uh, bye <laughs>